So today we're going to cut up this battery to see how much lead we can salvage out of it and to see whether it's worth it all. It's a 12 volt 70 amp hour battery. We're going to start off with cutting the top off. We have bicarbonate of soda on standby as a, as wow. a neutralizer. A bucket to pour out the, the acid into once it's open. See we've got the top off, the negative and the positive poles are, are cut off. Inside you can see the battery is made out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 cells. Each cell has a nominal voltage of 2.1 volts. And the cells are made up out of plates. It's a lead and a lead oxide plate, which is submerged in sulfuric acid and a water mixture. Each cell is made out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 plates. We're going to attempt to use this little kettle that we used in another project with, uh, where we made ice candles. So we pretty much wrecked the kettle already making the candles. So we're going to attempt melting the lead out of all the impurities that's, that's, that's part of the battery um, by using this kettle and, and hopefully we'll just be able to pour off the lead with the spout and the impurities will be retained inside and can be, through, can be thrown away later. So let's see if that will work. So the one plate has significantly much more lead in it than the other plate. Um, the one with a more redder color to it, the lead oxide, is a whole brittle plate um, kept together with thin, sort of you'll see how easily it tears, but thin lead, um, just grit inside of the lead oxide. Whereas the other one has a bit of a thicker grit um, and, and it's a bit more of a fluid movement to it. Um, Stronger, stronger structure, thicker, thicker structure, thicker grit. And that's what we're going to melt first before we try to recover the lead out of the, out of the lead oxide. So we had a bit of a catastrophic failure. Bottom of the aluminium pot being melted through. We're gonna try the cans now. I'm just gonna make a spout in this one to uh, help us with pouring. So we started melting the lead oxide part of things and as expected the yield 
is pretty low. We didn't retrieve any lead out of it. So we need to either settle for not being able to yield anything out of it or change our plan. So there's a little bit of lead in there, but I couldn't pour it off. So we'll see what we can do to salvage that. finished melting the red lead and hardly got anything out of it really we got a little bit out of the um, just of the, of the poles itself we're gonna melt everything now and cast it together to see what the total yield was Okay, and now the big moment to see how much lead we could yield out of the battery. On our scale. And we are looking at, there's one kilogram. So 1.7 kilograms. So that's almost 10% of the total battery weight.